Pyeongchang 2018, stories to watch. Curling. Curling appeared at the Olympics in 1924. After that, it dipped on and off as a demonstration sport mainly, but did not become an Olympic regular again until 1998. The game itself rewards good concentration, steady nerves, and team strategy, with one person throwing the stone and one or two teammates sweeping the ice so the rock will either stop in a desired spot, knock the other team's rocks out of the circle, or both. Three medals are there for the taking in Pyeongchang. There will be a 10-team men's tournament and another for the women. Each team plays nine games in preliminary rounds before medal play. For the first time, a mixed tournament will take place, featuring eight teams of just one man and one woman. In the coastal cluster of the region, curling events will take place at the Gangneung Curling Center. The arena seats 3,500 spectators and played host to the Women's World Championships in 2009. Ice hockey and speed skating will also take place at the Gangneung. What legendary band produced a movie that included a perilous scene involving curling? The answer, later. Switzerland's hoping to win curling gold for only the second time in Olympic history. The team of Jenny Paré and Martin Rios pulled off a stunning rally to beat Canada for the World Mixed Doubles Crown in 2017. Jenny delivered the winning shot, and now Switzerland has won six world titles. That was her first, while Martin picked up his second title. It was uh, one of my goals in my life to be take part in the Olympics. It's a new event for, for us. We try our best. I, I hope the best for us. Will this be a winning combination in Pyeongchang? When the USA won its only Olympic curling medal in the men's competition in 2006, John Schuster was the lead in Pete Fenson's team. Today, Schuster is the skip, as he has been for nine of the last 10 years. Schuster struggled after Sochi 2014 and was briefly dropped from the US team. He credits his loss of 30 pounds and the birth of his second child with the perspective he needs to return to the podium. I've learned a lot through the last two Olympics. Having a pre-performance and, and making sure that our team goes there and, and gets it done, I think would mean the world to me. The 11 Olympic gold medals in curling have gone to the five nations on the all-time table. In fifth, Norway with one gold. Same for Switzerland with five overall. Third place, Great Britain with two gold medals. Then Sweden, which holds two of each color. And at the top, Canada, collecting medals at every Olympics for 20 years. Canadian men have won gold at the last three Olympics and silver at the two games before that. World champion skip Kevin Cooey works for an oil and gas company. The team's third, Mark Kennedy, won the gold medal in Vancouver 2010. The team's second, Brent Lang, is an operations manager for a lawn care company. His wife, Jennifer Jones, was a world and Olympic champion curler. The lead, Ben Hebert, is a business manager for an oil and gas company. Many athletes and teams have their own Facebook pages, but how many pants can say the same thing? Yeah, I said pants. Team Norway's unique hodgepodge of red, white, and blue duds have drawn as much coverage as their performances. Canada won the women's gold in 2014, but has a new lineup in Pyeongchang. Don't think this is a step back, however, as it is the first team to go unbeaten at the world. The team skip is Rachel Holman, a 28-year-old who has been winning curling titles since her first in 2003. The team's third is Emma Miskew, seven weeks younger than Rachel. Emma runs her own industrial and graphic design company. Joanne Courtney II is a registered nurse who crossed country from Alberta to join the team in 2014. The lead, Lisa Weagle, is a communications advisor for Sport Canada. Will she be setting up interviews for another championship? The island of Elsa Craig, a 240-acre dome-shaped island off the coast of Scotland, produces roughly two-thirds of the world's curling stones because of the rare microgranites contained on the tiny island. Many of Great Britain's curlers hail from Scotland, including the colorful British skip Eve Muirhead. In 2014, Eve became the youngest skip, male or female, to win an Olympic curling medal when she led Great Britain to the bronze at the age of 23. She had been the British skip at the 2010 Olympics, but the team performed poorly and also broke her broom on the ice. Eve's father, Gordon, competed for Team GB at the 1992 Olympics when curling was a demonstration sport. Eve is an excellent bagpiper and competed at four World Bagpiping Championships.
The Swedish women have played in three very exciting Olympic gold medal finals in a row. In 2014, tied with Canada in the gold medal game, Sweden settled for a silver after a 6-3 defeat. In 2006, the women won beating Switzerland. In 2010, they beat host Canada. The Swedish team of Anna Hasselborg, Sarah McManus, and Agnes Nockenauer have played together for eight years since they won the world junior title. Sofia Mabergs is the fourth team member. Did you guess which band made a movie with a scene about curling? In the movie Help, the Beatles encountered a booby trap curling stone. The Olympic curling schedule starts with the newest event, Mixed Double, awarding its gold on February 13th. Preliminary round action then begins with men's and women's teams playing nine games each. On February 23rd is the men's bronze match, the 24th, the men's gold and women's bronze, and the day after that, the 25th, the women's gold medal final. The Olympic Winter Games in Pyeongchang set to begin February 9th. Follow other Pyeongchang 2018 sport previews on Olympic Channel.